What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to replace the cabin air filter in a 2020 Land Rover Defender. I'll put a link in the description box of this video to where you can purchase these replacement cabin air filters if you're in need. So our cabin air filter is going to be located behind the glove box. In order to get to it, we need to open the glove box. Then if we take a look on the left hand side, we're going to see this dampening latch right here that my finger's on. The first thing I'm going to do is push that latch in forward just a little bit. And after it moves forward, then what I'm going to do is come in here and just push it to the side like this. And if you're, that's a pretty tight space. If you're not able to get your fingers in there, you might need to use a flathead screwdriver. So you just push it in a little bit and then push it out to kind of disconnect it. Once we get the dampening latch disconnected, there's then two stops, one on each side. We see one right here. And there's another one over here that's preventing the glove box from coming down. So what you want to do is get your finger on here and I'm just going to kind of push down. And as I do that, you can see it comes down far enough for that stop to clear. And we'll come over here and do the same thing. And if you have both your hands free, it's easier to do these both at the same time. So we'll come in here, get that down. And then once both stops are cleared, the glove box will come down like that. I'll take a closer look in here. This white item right here is gonna be the access door to the cabin filter. And there's this pinch clip on the side that you can pinch and get that door off of here. Then this whole tray will pull out like this and we'll take a closer look at this cabin air filter. Normally I would change this outside of the vehicle so we don't get any dirt in here, but I'm just gonna do it in here for a little better lighting. But again, I'd recommend to do this outside of the vehicle. So the part that'll actually be replaced is this white part that's sitting in this tray. This is the actual filter that'll come out. And how you're gonna know how that's in properly is our little window right here, how it says okay. So this filter will just come out of there, slip your new one in, make sure it's tucked under these four tabs, and then the big thing is in that window, you want it to say okay. That's gonna show you that it's installed properly. And then we'll reverse everything we just did to close it up. So once we have our new filter in the tray, we'll slide our tray back in and you wanna make sure that it goes in with this arrow pointing up. Then we'll reinstall the access door and that left side is gonna kinda of clip in first. You can see that tab tucks in. And then that snaps into place like that. Now what we're gonna do is pick these up and it's kind of, you can just pick this up for them to clear, but I like to help those stops along a little bit. So just come in here, press down, and then we get those to where they're cleared, or rather holding it up. And then the last thing we need to do is reattach this dampening latch. And this can be a little bit of a pain. There's just not a lot of room to work with. So what I'm going to do is kind of pull it as close to myself as I can forward. And then I'm going to push it down so it kind of opens up, so to speak. And then you just need to see if we can get a shot of it. So tight space, can't really get the great of a shot of it. But what you're going to do is just use your finger to manipulate it down and get it down into that hole. And you may even need to pick up on the glove box a little bit to kind of help you get it where it needs to be. And then once you get it into the hole and it, it's, it's really slight, but you'll feel it go in there and then it'll pull slightly towards yourself. And what that latch does is it just lets the glove box open slowly instead of just flopping out. So I know that was a little bit difficult to see, but you'll just kind of have to look on yours. But once we get that reattached and our glove box up, that's it. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out, and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.